Hey everyone, and welcome back to another APC Tech Talk. I'm Matt from the R&D team, and today we're talking about something that comes up a lot this time of year, applying epoxy in winter. Is it doable? What do you need to watch out for? And how do you avoid issues like amine blush when the temperature drops? Let's start with what actually happens to epoxy in cold conditions. Epoxy cures through a chemical reaction. That reaction is driven by heat. The hotter it is, the faster it cures. That's why you'll typically see shorter curing times during the warmer months, and it can be a struggle to get large mixes of epoxy out. But when you spread it out on a cold slab during cooler months, the reaction slows right down. If it's too cold, the epoxy just won't find the energy it needs to fully cure. Now, when that cure time extends, you open the door to issues such as amine blushing. That's when moisture and CO2 in the air react with the hardener before it has a chance to fully crosslink. It leaves behind a greasy or waxy layer on the surface that can mess with the intercoat adhesion if you're not careful. It's also susceptible to water spotting even after curing. That's where winter hardener comes in. It's specifically formulated for colder conditions and it's far less susceptible to amine blushing. In fact, we've never had a single case of blush reported when using winter hardener. It's ideal for outdoor use or colder climates where standard hardeners might struggle. But here's the catch, it still takes time. Don't rush the top coat and let the base coat cure properly first. One way to check if a coat is completely cured and ready for the next layer is the fingernail test. If you press your nail into the surface and it leaves a mark, it's not ready yet and give it more time. Another thing to keep in mind is substrate temperature versus ambient temperature. It's easy to check your weather app and think you're in the clear, but what really matters is the temperature of the slab. You can have an ambient temperature of 16 degrees, but if the slab is sitting at six degrees, that's not enough thermal energy for the epoxy to cure. On the flip side, you may have the heater going overnight in a residential setting, so the concrete slab will be warmer than the ambient temperature. The ambient temperature might be 13 degrees, but the slab would be 16 or 18 degrees. That's why we always recommend keeping a temperature gun in your toolkit. It's a simple tool, but it gives you an accurate read on slab temperature, so you can make the right call on site. So yes, you can coat floors in winter. You just need to know what you're working with. Take your time, use the right hardener, and always, always double check your substrate temperature. Thanks for watching this Tech Talk. If you've got questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.